Hi. I'm doing something. I'm going somewhere. It's the most epic chasing trains trip of 2021. So, it may not look very epic here. How can I make it more epic? Oh, here we go. Now I got my disguise. Let's hit the road. That's right. This is the start of a Jason Trains adventure. I'm driving right now through a place called Livermore and on my way to Gary's place. And our destination today is first I'm going to Gary's. He's in Sacramento. And we're going to drive out to Elko. That's our destination today. And I guess it will probably look for foaming opportunities on our way there and we'll see what happens so let's chase trains together <laughs> the smoke in the air from all the wildfires burning luckily for me in the Bay Area we haven't had this level of pollution from the fires that are happening right now it's, it's pretty nasty look at that Oh boy. So in case you can't tell from the traffic around me here, behind me in the picture, this is a traffic jam. And this would not be an episode of Chasing Trains without a traffic jam, because this is just what happens whenever, well, really whenever you go anywhere in this state. <laughs> Really, whenever you go anywhere in most states nowadays, because places are so crowded these days. But I just have to say, for the entire pandemic, so for the past almost two years, like one and a half years, right? It's been pretty decent. Like, you could go places and there just weren't a lot of people on the roads. Looks like we're getting back to normal. All right, so I just rolled up at Gary's place, and here he comes. Hey, Gary. Yeah. What's going on here? I'm trying to figure out how to open the gas cap. What? This what do you just, mean, how to open the gas cap? You know, that to, to release release the, 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 the hatch. You mean we can't get gas? But not unless we open the hatch. What the <laughs> hell is this? There's a little thingy. They got all sorts. These American cars are just unbelievable. I would never own one. <laughs> so here's some good news. I, I figured out how to open the gas cap. It just opens. You just you push on it. And, oh, and oh, it just opens. Oh, see? okay, okay. So we can get gas. Okay, <laughs> and we can get, get we can get gas at Taco Bell too. Oh yeah, we can. if we need to. Hi, Alvin. What's up? what are you up to? Oh, Alvin's just... on the phone. We're just getting ready to leave, and I tell you, Sacramento, I can't wait to get out of here. It just stinks. <sighs> Gary, I think we need these little face masks, not for the not for the virus, but for the damn smoke. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes, it is. It's really that um, bad. Yeah, this bridge does look just like the other one in Auburn. Uh, yeah, it's the same type. Yeah. We're talking about the bridge here. That's a signature bridge here on Donner Pass, or the Donner Pass route for what's now Union Pacific. <laughs> but, oh, what's this guy doing? Boy, he just really wanted to cut in front of you, didn't he? I almost didn't see him because of the camouflage. 
Yeah. We're at a place here called Emigrant Gap. You can see the tracks on the other side of the road there. But yeah, this is uh, this is really bad smoke. Yeah, normally this is a really pretty place, and you can yes. see mountains, and you can't see anything, Gary. This is just this is so bad. I'm starting to wonder if we won't even be able to see any trains up on Donner Pass. Because we usually have to look across ravines and stuff to try to see the trains. Yeah. You see what I mean? I was talking about this on the way up to your place, Gary. What? It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter when you go. Even during the pandemic, we still get traffic jams. Yeah. This has been going on since the beginning of time, or at least since we've had roads and cars. So we just arrived at a place called Truckee, and I checked, right. I checked the Amtrak app on my other phone, and it looks like the westbound Zephyr should be arriving any minute, if the app was accurate. They're supposed to be arriving, like, right now. So we might catch our first train in just a minute. That was exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the gates do go up. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if it doesn't block the gate. <laughs> but there you go. Westbound California Zephyr running a little late today. We're chasing trains. Yeah, we sure. Did, did you get a? We one, sure are. Did you get a good shot? Probably not. I couldn't <laughs> see the screen. <laughs> I couldn't see mine either. <laughs> so that's it from Truckee. Our first action of the trip. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you at the next stop, whatever that is. Yeah. Foaming, foaming. Hey, look what I found. It's a rotary snowplow. Yeah. And a porta potty. But there's no snow here. Well, not now. Oh. But sometimes there's snow here. Oh. And there's a crane too. There's a railroad track over there. Wonder where that railroad track goes. There's another train. Now we can't stop and catch this one, but as you can see, this is a westbound stack train. This is probably the Daily Z train headed for Oakland. You know what some people call this train? What's that? A double stack train. Oh, a double stack train. But it's only one stack, not double. Otherwise, there'd be four containers. 
<laughs> and over here on this side is the flow. Yeah. The Truckee River flow. Right? I used to see that, and I always wondered what it was, and then I learned about flumes, and then I put two and two together. You know what the word in Italian is for river? Flume. Fiume. Oh, fiume. Fiume, which comes out yeah. to be flume in English. Ah. So a flume is a river. It's on this side, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it crosses... There were several flumes. Yep. Look at that. There's another catch, but now this one's standing still. And this is in the yard in Reno, Sparks. Sparks. Yeah, yeah Sparks. And there's your power. And I'm pretty sure that most of what we see in the yard here is the stuff that goes out and comes in on the locals because they run a bunch of locals out of this yard. And I think most of them go to the east. Yes. Right. There's some guys on Facebook that I follow their photography and they get a lot of really great photos east of here of these trains. So we've been driving now on 80, headed east for probably at least 200 miles out of Reno or close to 200 miles out of Reno and I haven't seen a single train yet, which is seems a little odd I mean, because they do run trains out here, but we were just talking about this and thinking, where are all the trains? Where have all, all the trains gone? Yeah, what do you think? I mean, now I did see a high railer on on the track. Well, that was way back. Way right? Back. Yeah, shortly coming out of Reno. Yeah. But surely there must be some westbounds, right? You got nothing. That's a great noise, isn't it? It sounds like about a B flat, don't you? <laughs> think it's about a B flat or maybe a C sharp. <laughs> oh, that's much better. <laughs> Guess where we are, Alvin? I don't know, where are you? Tell them where we are. We're on your street, bro. No, you're not. Yes, we are. We decided not to stay in Elko. Why would you do that? But you left at like 11 o'clock. Yeah, well, we, this car goes really fast. <laughs> You're old. You don't drive fast. <laughs> yeah, but what if I was driving? Uh, yeah, or Mike Nineman. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Nineman was driving. We'd be in Evanston by now. <laughs> <laughs> Something else you'll notice if you look is that you can actually see the sky now. So... The smoke in the air has definitely cleared up a bit. Yeah, we had to come all the way to Carlin, Nevada to do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, in fairness, we have been able to see the sky for a little while now. Yeah. But it's just nice to be out of that horrendous smoke. Hello, I'm back again. We made it to Elko, where Gary just went in to collect whatever keys we need for the place that we're staying. And... Still haven't seen a train yet. Other than train 5 this morning, there hasn't been a single thing out here. It's kind of surprising in a way, because usually there, there are trains out here on this line. We usually see at least a few on our way one direction or the other. So maybe they were doing track work. Not sure. Hey, Gary, you enjoying the view? Yeah, we have a great view. What is it? Just, just look, look at this view that we got here. <laughs> That's amazing. We got a nice pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying the cigarette ashtrays down there. That's especially yeah. classy. It is really good. A good view. Yeah. There's probably no better view in Elko. Yeah, this is great. The pillar is especially uh -huh. impressive. Uh huh. Yep. So, if you're train station looks like this you might be in Elko <laughs> let's go up there and take a look Gary okay here's the train station it's just a couple of little shelter sheds really they got a nice uh, set of weeds growing here yeah look at that it's all weeds but that's it this is what you get at Elko and they have a scheduled stop for one minute at this station we found something curious here it says that the conductor is going to unlock the gate, but there's no gate. 
There's no gate to unlock there. Yeah. So, but there was a gate when we were here last time. Yes, there was. It and was it was locked. locked. Yes. Yeah. We remember that. But they're not expecting another train through here, an Amtrak train anyway, for another three and a half hours. There's and a signal we passed out here. Can you see it? Oh, it's right there. It's yeah. Like there's nothing, there's on. nothing on. The signal's dark. There's nothing going on here. Nothing. It's very boring. Very disappointing. Yeah. We're chasing railroad tracks today and nothing else. This. So here's what we have to do. There's no trains, so we had to come out to the yard here and find a train. And look, Gary, it looks like that train is doing something. There's this loaded coal drag that looks like it's going out of the yard here, maybe. Maybe they're gonna take off, Gary. Well, at least we got to see a train today, other than just Amtrak. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey. Hey. It's day two of the yeah. epic epic journey of 2021. And we're going to Salt Lake City today, where we will meet up with our buddy Alvin. I got my coffee. So I think we're ready to go. Once Gary figures out how to fig figures out how to figure out well, I how can't, to I do can't the zero out trip B. You trippy? You tripping? It says reset right there. I oh, there it goes. Yeah, hey, we were about to leave town here. Yeah. And Le all of a leaving we Elko and we see trains. So now we're rushing over to the train place to see if we can catch a train. Uh, I can catch it on my other camera here going over the overpass so you can see what we saw. Check Hell, this that out. That could be Amtrak coming. It might be Amtrak it's coming. It's late. I think I think it's uh, about that time but this no, is no, what I saw only if it's late I saw this auto rack well I saw an auto rack car going past and I said hey there's an auto rack train Gary says well there's a headlight down there too so now we're chasing trains but that's what we're supposed to be doing because this is uh, chasing trains after all and here, here's what's Here's what I saw. This is the train I saw. This is no auto rack train. The, no, it's an, it's a manifest, but it has auto racks yeah, in it. Yeah, well, of course it does. This yeah. is PSR. Yeah. Pretty cool. You wake up and see trains. So I got to say, Gary, we're catching a train a lot sooner today. Maybe we should check to see how late number five is. Yeah. That, that could be the headline number five back there, or maybe it was just my imagination. 
Well, you do see headlights and trains where there aren't any I sometimes. Do. Yeah. And there's some more That's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, this is probably a two or three mile long train. They're pulling into the yard that we were at yesterday, I'm sure. But look at that. That's a Faro Max auto rack. Well, I doubt it's pulling into the yard. It's probably a bypass train. It's not, I don't think they use that. Well, it looks, it looks like they're slowing down quite a bit, though. They just use that yard to pull up the stuff. Oh, maybe that's what it is then. Yeah, he's stopping. He's stopping to change crews. Oh. Uh, probably. Well. And he's so f***ing off. That's what she said. So we're gonna have the benefit of the L. Yeah, there is a headlight right there. Yeah. Gar Gary was not imagining the headlight this time. Well, I'm gonna go down here and now. Yeah. Wow, it looks like we missed this one, Gary. Yeah, well. Look at this, look how close we missed it by. Yeah. There's the wall, there's the locomotive. Yeah. Well, oh, it had an SP unit on it. Oh, no, it had an SP unit on it. Oh well. This is another manifest train. Huh. I just think there's a park here at the uh, station. Yeah. Number six headlights. You mean number five? Number five. Yeah. Oh well. So that's one eastbound and one westbound already today. Uh -huh. And it, I think that probably is a backlog from the nothing that happened yesterday. You know how they have track work or they have a problem and then they send is everything it, through? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it is. I can't. No, this is Silver Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it, it was so busy. Yeah. So we're going to go down to that yard we found yesterday and after we bought him out the car, but you know, nothing handles quite like a rental. We're gonna to go to that yard we found yesterday and see if there's any action there because you never know. Well, we struck out at the yard. There wasn't anything really going on. So we'll have to try something else now. We'll see you Wait later. A Look at all the cars here. Yeah, Look. there's a yard. There's also some hey, leasers that, right there. That, those are, that's a private, uh, business yeah that, that that looks like they oh that's dirty dirt that's what that is those are dirty dirt yeah, containers. you see those blue and orange engines yeah the, we found a dirty dirt place where they load the dirty dirt that goes to utah isn't that interesting hmm. i can't think of a better place to send it send it so i turned on the camera just to mention this is one of those wildlife bridges that they built out here over highway 80 and I guess along the side of the road here, it's also all fenced off. Yeah, to, to right? herd them toward the... Yeah, so that's how, that's how they know to go and, to and the And they've bridge. got signs up that say, you know, wildlife crossing a quarter mile ahead, you know, for them. Oh, that way all the deer and everything, they know that they it's over there. They read the signs and they head for the crossing. Yeah. But some of them can't read, so that's why they got the barrier up to directly. Yeah, and then, well, they have the signs that have the pictures, right? It's yeah. a picture of a deer, so it knows, yes. oh, that's what I look like, so I have to go. That's right. Yeah. I'm looking at this rock formation up here on the road, off to the left of the road. Look at that. You can see where the layers formed. Isn't that cool? I, mean, I can't look. This is one of those places that looks to me like it could be a state park or something but it's just some sort of unremarkable thing on the off to the side of the road. But we'll be getting to Wendover here pretty soon. I found something interesting here. Apparently, this is a rest stop, by the way, just over the state line, I think. And this is apparently where the first transcontinental telephone line was completed. And they have this structure here which to me looks like it would be a good place to look at trains because the you can see the railroad is right there hey i had to have a snack but i wanted to let you know i talked about this on the podcast more than once and i actually do take this beef jerky with me on road trips this is proof right now well i don't know how 
well this is showing up, but you can see a cut of what looks like well cars or maybe flat cars just sitting out there on the track. And I'm pretty sure what these are are dirty dirt cars. They, they look like well cars and they load containers on them that look like shipping containers, but they're they're not quite as big as shipping containers and they're not quite as tall. And I know for a fact that they do send dirty dirt that's contaminated dirt that's, I think, radioactive from Nevada. I think from Nevada to Utah, or it might go from Utah out to Nevada. I'm not sure which direction it heads, but I've seen a train out here before. Concerned department, oh. if we don't hear from you, then it will be forced to take legal action against you. Press one and you will be connected to the concerned department. Do press one. I don't know how to go keypad. Press one. Here, we're gonna. <laughs> Someone's trying to skip here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, your call has been transferred to the Social Security Administration. How may I assist you today? Yes, I'm in big trouble with the government. Can you get me out of the trouble? How can I help you, sir? Well, somebody just called and said I'm in trouble. All right. And over that information, did you receive any case ID number or any case information about this call? No, they just said that if I don't press one, that the government's going to come and, and do something to me. All right. And over that uh, information, did you receive any case ID number or any case information? No, I, case? no I don't have any numbers. You don't receive any case information, Salcha. What? I, I didn't. I, I didn't. Did you receive any case information? Case information, sir? Yes. What case are you looking for? A suitcase? I have a suitcase. Okay. Uh, can you just give me a moment? Let me check. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear the call center in the background? All right, sir. Hello? Yes? Are you yes, there? Sir, can you verify me your phone please? Do what? And your last name? My last name, Jones. Yeah. Jo Jones. J O N E S. Jones. Jones. Fred. My first name is Fred. He hung up on you. <laughs> that was one of those call centers in India. I they, never never they... I never answer those things. Yeah. But driving and not seeing what's coming in I, I, I I'm answering anything yeah and normally I, I but I thought as soon as that happened I, I said oh this is gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they hung up on you they must have not they must have realized your last name's not Jones somehow oh well I don't know had a chance to really waste someone's time there yeah. you got nothing better to do we're just driving between Wendover and Salt Lake City yeah if we can't listen to Ray we might as well uh, put somebody on in India <laughs> look what we found <laughs> so how do you get there <coughs> you can take the cut off no, I know listen, you take the cut off if you're driving on 215 and Grant's wise over here right and you're going this way off the freeway you're supposed to go this way and over there is the train tracks in 600 North. Over the top. Over the top. That's that's North Yard. That's the cutoff. Yeah. The cutoff. We'll we'll put Kenneth in his uh, in his uh, phone and follow and let the lady. Give let us the lady chime. Yeah. yeah. Which, so, which which lady? The one. The lady in the phone. Oh, not, lady, this, not lady. this lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is Salt Lake City North Yard. I'm gonna probably meet Alvin here in a minute.
here she comes on a unicycle. <laughs> There's only one place in the world you can see something like this. Look at this guy. He's getting good at this. He's professional. You're professional on that thing. Look at you go. Yeah, I had to ride all the way here from work. <laughs> Sorry, it took me so long. Right? Oh, there's oh the you're train. missing the front runner. We're, we're missing the front runner. Big deal. Yeah, this guy by every hour in the yard. the rear power to come through. Hey Gary. What? This is a very important place in Chasing Trains history. It is, yeah. Because just across the tracks over there, on the other side of that stalled train, yes. we first learned about the super important North Korean steam microphone. You remember that? I remember something That's where about we learned that. about that. Right. So how's that worked out for you? North Korean steam microphone. Was it North Korean or South Korean? Yeah, the, the it microphone. It was probably North Korean, but I don't remember the microphone. Yeah, it was the microphone. You it was, it was for steam engines only. You bought it from a guy on the streets of San Francisco. He had it in his coat. You told me all about it right I over there. I thought that was the, the, the camera thing. The, the, the yeah, phone. the steam microphone. Was that a steam microphone? It was a steam microphone that day. Oh, I must have been too steam that day to remember. It, it, did the, it, it accepts the impact with the springs on it. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the compression. Yes. High SPL. Yeah, that one. Uh -huh. It was really good. Yeah. How I, good I was never it? Met, never found that guy anymore. Yeah. I kept looking for him to see if he had any other devices. Well, I was hoping you could pick one up for me. Because I could use yeah, one of those. Well, I saw his brother, and all he had was condoms and, you know, stuff like that inside his coat. So I, I you know, what was it? We don't need that. No. So... It's too bad. That's also where this guy rode the, the, the unicycle across right here. And right here is where he fell, fell over. Fell and I, over. I put it in slow motion. Fell over. Yeah. That was on episode four of Chasing Trains when we were chasing 4014, the big boy. Big boy. So if, you're, if you haven't seen that, you might want to check that one out. It's a very important uh, episode in the series. It's a train. Ooh, three yeah. engines. Yeah. Big this train. is a no horn zone. There must have been someone on the track then. They can't be horny over here. Yeah. Here we are at my club. Golden Spike Train Club. Of Utah. Of Utah. So the old place that we've been to before got shut down, right? Yes, but only because of an earthquake, not COVID. Right. Right. So 
We salvaged some stuff, a couple buildings, some some switch machines that I know of. Maybe some other stuff. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't there that day. How about switch machines? Yeah, we saved a bunch of switch machines. And then here we are. Starting so, from scratch. The, now, but this is supposed to be completely modular, isn't it? Yes, this is completely modular. So that way one day when we do move, we'll be able to easily take it with us. Now that loop down on that island yes. is really not much bigger than the loop at the end of my layout. Yeah, this is small. It may be about a foot wider. Uh, let me see. There's a track line over here. Follow how, me. How often are people working on this? They come down sometimes Tuesdays, sometimes Saturdays. Oh, here's the track line. Here's the track line. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so it's broken up into modules too. There's another section over here, uh -huh. which isn't on this, but this is us. This is the part that's not very much bigger than Gary's. This, my, uh, my layout is on here. This is one foot. Good question. Grid 15 marks, 15 is one. So your layout, the chocolate bar layout? My chocolate bar layout is on is, this is layout. Is part of these modules? No, 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 no. They took the design from my chocolate bar. Because the guy that designed the chocolate bar designed this. See, this, oh, is, six, okay. this is six feet. Mine, mine is five feet. Oh. So it's not too much bigger. Yeah. Okay. But this is a good way out. For yeah. This. No, there's, there's also a yard. And you can go either way. Industry. This is Echo and Morgan. Yeah. So Echo, Morgan. Then, then you can keep going around. And then over here we have a, this is going to be a, what's the place where they get the dirt? Quarry. It's going to be quarry. Yeah, this, this is a good layout because you can keep going around, and when you finish going around, you can come back into the yard. Yep. You got your run around track for your power. I have to come off. And where's your run? Where's your engine facility? Good question. I don't know. So we're always accepting new members, and if you want to be a part of us, find us on Facebook, Golden Spike Train Club of Utah. We'll be there. Hit us up. Check this out. We got down here and it's the chair. Would you like to take a seat? I am going to. No. I, can't, you know, I can't hear it. You got to hear the video. Here. Here I am. There I'm it gonna, is. I'm going to sit in the chair. There he is. Sorry, my lighting down here sucks. Let's see. How was, how was that? Yeah. Yeah. Chair. Chair. You want to try the chair? Gary, no. try out the chair. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the... Uh, I'm going to be upset goings on if you don't here. try the chair. He won't try out the chair. Oh, I, I'll never be able to get up out of it. That's okay. But it's the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chair. Like concrete tie. There it is. Yeah, man. That's my main line. Okay. World's fastest layout tour. Take one. Take one. We have lights. Oh, do you want to put that light on? Uh, it don't matter. Oh, put it on. I'll hold it. Okay. Let me plug it into the power here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Because we need light, right? Yeah. yeah, we need light. Okay. Okay. Here's the layout owner. What do you want to tell people about your amazing layout? This is the world's fastest layout. So here we got the the printing. We'll see that later. <laughs> the guy at the club designed this for me. And uh I like it. But I should have I should have put the cars on the track to see where they're gonna meet up and stuff. Because yeah. there's, there's some things that I don't like. And I'm a little bit nervous to tear into this. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, we got one end here, and then this is paper. Paper mill? This is paper. This is main line. This is main line. No, do you have stone and scissors, too? Excuse me? Do you have stone and scissors also? Stone and scissors. Yeah, paper, stone, and scissors. It's rock. Rock. Oh, rocker. Rock. rock and scissors. Rock and scissors. Paper, rock, and Paper, scissors. rock, and scissors. That's yeah. what this, I mean. Paper, this is rock, a, and scissors. This is a metal thing, right? So scissors can come out of there. And then we'll have ballast eventually. So there's your rock. Rock. Yeah. Paper, scissors. Yeah. Right. So Yeah, okay. we're doing a layout tour. Who's this guy in the layout tour? Me? Yeah. I'm the, I'm the critic. Critic. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He's the critic. Um, Pardon my dust. We got some tools here okay okay moving on so this this here is my wood factory that uh this yeah, I is got that this is where the wood comes in on the cars yeah, yeah. see that 
Yeah. O five O helps it out. Don't you have two of those? Correct. The other one's just hanging out in a box. But okay. I forget about that. I saw it last night. Yeah. And now I can add it to my dealio. Yeah, here. I, I put mine end to end. Word. And then I put this down at the end of it. Hey, whose layout tour is this anyway? <laughs> That's okay. This is the shack. I like that it's purple. I painted it purple yeah. on purpose. A purple shack. Purple shack. Um, over here, this is the metal thing, like I said. Yeah. Where the scissors are made. Scissors are made. And we're going to come around the corner mm -hmm. here. I have this building. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen from here on. What is that building? This is uh, this is part of the thing. They came in a oh, kit together. Oh, that's part of that. Yeah. The kit. Oh, yeah. We showed off that building at your other house. Yeah, this is Vulcan Manufacturing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's okay, the then what? Then we have a power substation because yeah. I wanted to put in a neighborhood. Which you'll well, see the here. people have to live right where they're going to work. Yeah, I have a holy moly donut shop too. I like it. Is that super dope donuts? Get over uh, here. Should, it should be the I super should, dope donut shop. I should name it super dope donut shop. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, what else? I have a couple background buildings here that I'm working on, painted up, uh, yeah. uh -huh. ready to go. Yeah, over here is going to be my diesel stuff. So I have a transfer table. Thank you. That's you know nice. I have that. It's a little beat up in transit. Well, yeah. that had to come back on an airplane. It had to come back on an airplane. Um, I have a diesel shop that's going to go here. That's, yeah, I have this too. That's an MIA. This, yeah, this is pretty dope. I feel good about this. I'm a little worried. I wanted to get the the diesel shop back before I started to like really do this. Uh -huh. Yeah. But Brainiac me, I got this piece of cardboard. That's your mock-up? And this is my mock-up. So. And what's this over here? Is this your workshop? Take notes. This now, is a... You are going to extend to the end, right? I don't know. Well, I wanted to do a balloon track, but there's this door, and behind here is my plumbing, and I need at least four feet, and this comes to here, and that's not four feet. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the world's fastest layout tour right there. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Yeah.